Hello, hello. Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome everyone. Happy in bulk, 1st of February, Bridget's Festival Day, and just welcome any day. So I'm just gonna wait and see if anyone can join live. Um, I won't be able to see unless you comment, so that would be great if you wanted to say hi, that would be fabulous. But don't worry, otherwise just be in your own space. We'll just wait a second. Hello, oh gorgeous. I know red wearing red for red for Bridget. Oh I've got a little tag. <laughs> uh red for Bridget and green. So I just feel like I'm in her colours and red for oh so many things. Lead her ship. We are in our power energy. Oh, hello. Oh, it's so gorgeous to see your names popping up. It's beautiful. So yes, red in honor of Bridget, but also for all of, of you and your fire energy, your power, um, power energy within. Um, okay, Let's see. Just whilst we're waiting a second, I'm going to light a candle. And when I've been tuning into Mother Earth recently, she, you know, she uh, sort of rises rises up into the into the space that I'm working in. And <clears throat> there's been a lot of red coming in with her energy, like little cherry tomatoes or little red plums or something like this. Um, or cherries you know just red food and I think we're really looking at our root chakra um, you know the world can feel a bit unstable quite unstable at the moment um, so the earth is really helping us uh, heal any of those wounds about not feeling secure um, you know just with those root chakra stuff so consume red wear red um, yeah just bring some nourishment to your root chakra to your to yourself uh, and bring in this red energy. Okay, so maybe I'll just do a little message <clears throat> from Rosa while we're waiting. <sighs> so I often use my book as an oracle and I can really feel her around as well as Goddess Bridget. I've opened up the space. Uh, we have an awful lot of the Divine Mothers with us this evening. Um, yeah, so this beautiful, beautiful energy. So let's see what Rosa wishes to share with us this evening. Okay, so for anyone who does have my book, um, I flicked to page 161. And this is all about connection leads to trust. Um, okay, beautiful. So the message is, it's not a lack of trust that it is the problem. You know, we always think, oh, I've got to trust, I've got to trust. And I remember in one of my uh, courses, it was coming up a lot. Well, how do I trust? And we put this pressure on ourselves to trust. And, you know, that's kind of out of alignment because because we don't, because life has, you know, thrown some curveballs and it's, it's difficult to trust. Um, and what this message is saying, it's not the lack of trust that is the problem, but the lack of connection, which you feel. Connection to yourself, connection to the universe, connection to the flow of life. And yes, your connection to your baby souls. Okay, so we're in the uh, we're in the connection. Um, so we don't need to be in trust because if we're not in trust, you know, we can pretend to ourselves, or we can be open to trusting. I'm open to trusting, but putting that pressure on of trusting uh, kind of creates more anxiety. Um, so we were looking at even though I don't trust, you know, all is well. Um, and what is going on there is connection. <clears throat> so feeling this connection with yourself. And this evening we, of course, are connecting with Goddess Bridget. Oh, okay, so um, I'm going to read a message from Goddess Bridget. So for those of you who don't know me, there's a few new uh, joiners or for anyone who might be watching this at a later stage somewhere else. Um, uh, I'm Deborah, and I'm a spirit baby medium, so I 
tune into the energy of uh, baby souls, those who are waiting to come in and those who have not been able to stay. Um, and also my big thing is helping women to connect themselves with their baby souls. It's all about connection. And when we feel more connected to ourselves and we feel we're able, everyone can do this. We all have this divine gift and this divine right to, to be able to connect with all things. Um, so uh, yes, I'm spirit baby medium, uh, a healer, so I can see energy, read energy, feel energy, uh, see the energy within your soul field, and that might be a past life, it might be an ancestral thing, but just see energy, it's kind of hard to describe, but um, you know, I just have access to your soul energy if I have permission. And um, yes, and I'm a channel. Uh, what do I feel that means? Nothing is separate from us, so I feel like channeling is when we just expand our energy and merge with different consciousnesses, different frequencies. So we're like turning the dial, if you like, on the radio station to tune into a different frequency and, um, and hear, feel, know what that frequency has to say. So I mostly channel, I sometimes channel live, all my meditations are channeled live in the moment, um, but mostly I sort of write my channeling down. Um, uh, and sometimes messages come through when I'm uh, in the moment, so we'll see what happens. Um, and I'm also an author, of course, of Rose's Choice, Healing the Wounds of the Mother. So um, yes, but you know, if we ask who we are, we're obviously so much more than that. It's just, we, we like these labels, um, but maybe we need to let go of these labels and just that we're moving into a time of frequency and communicating with each other's frequencies and heart energies and not being attached to, I am this, I am this, I am this, I am this. Um, at the moment, it's just easier for us all to understand and get an idea of, uh, you know, a little idea of who someone is if we uh, put these identities on. So I mostly work with the divine mother energy. So the mother energy, of course, has been made very small. It, it's, you know, it can bring up a lot of triggers. The mother energy uh, has been very devalued. Um, it's not honored like it used to be. Uh, you know, childbirth hasn't been, isn't honored anymore or valued as it used to be. Um, and mother has been attached to birthing a child, but, Mother Mary and the Divine Mother Energy, of course, is much, much more than that, as you are much, much more than you probably currently think you are. So it's this expansion into the Ma. The Mother Energy, the Cosmic Mother Energy, Divine Mother Energy, it births all, okay? So it's all your ideas, all your projects, your life. You know, nothing is birthed without the Mother. And Divine Mother is very much rising, the, the energy of Divine Mother is very much rising in the world, which is maybe why the kind of old patriarchal structures and uh, those who really hold that energy strongly are um, kicking back a little bit because, you know, there's a fear there. It's basically a fear of, uh, of the power of women, the power of the Divine Mother, the birthing creative energy. So Divine Mother, um, uh, you know, comes comes to me in various different guises. And I had a really interesting, amazing experience the other day with the Divine Mothers, um, The uh, only a couple of weeks ago. And I'd finished a beautiful client session and was just drawn to, I just thought, I, oh my God, I've just got to lie down. I was just told really to just sit, just to lie down. And I felt the energy of Divine Mothers coming all around me. And um, they were saying, uh, so what they said was, uh, they gathered around me, I'm just gonna read my notes because it's, sometimes it's like, oh, I just flip out a bit. <laughs> and they said, you are to open a container from where all life comes. And then I was taken into this huge womb-like space. Um, it just felt like an empty warehouse, really. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, what is this? Um, and I saw all these old cords from the womb being, you know, unhooked, um, just uh, new creations, old creations, but it was like, this was a space where all this was held and there's so much unused. So there's so much power in our wombs, in our womb space, in our womb energy, 
that is currently unused, much like they say you only use 90% of your brain or whatever it is, um, they were showing me this is the same for the womb. So when we're truly in our womb power, in our in our in our truth, in our womb, uh, you know, there's this huge, uh, vast space um, that is uh, available. Uh, and ready to be opened so of course this is about opening your own container because of course my head went in well what's the container it didn't feel like a course it didn't feel like even a space a physical space and of course we are all the containers from which all life is birthed so it took me a while to kind of get uh, an idea of what was that going on and um they were saying that because I hold the energy of Divine Mother, so it's in my soul plan and I've, you know, just done a lot of work to open my own field. So I don't activate, I don't like the idea of someone being able to activate someone else's DNA or else's energy. Uh, what I do is hold the space in order to allow others, to, you know, someone else to open that energy. So when you are holding a certain frequency, you allow anyone in that space to open that frequency within themselves because they already hold it you're not activating anything you're holding the space for someone to open to their and for me and my role is to open up open you up to your mother energy um the mother as in birthing your children but the more expansive sense of opening up your mother your birthing energy divine mothers always said our creations are already there they're in the field somewhere uh, they're already created you've already created them in your own soul's plan and our role if you like is to birth those creations into physical being so when i was with uh in this kind of moment with the divine mothers they were showing me images of the witch burnings and um what they were saying was that the women that were involved with that you know they whether they were witches uh you know well, let's own that let's own that word um but it, you know they were the midwives they were the herbalists they were the um the one who were closest to the earth uh you know and birth and life and all that goddess bridget stands for um and of course they were they were burnt but what the divine mothers were saying was they were operating in the within the divine mother energy but within the system and structure of patriarchy so that burning uh was part of this huge plan because now what they said was out of what they said out of the fire a new breed of a woman is born out of the fire a new breed of witch is born Okay, so I was thinking all the new baby souls, really, they're not attached anymore like the women in those times were. They're not going to be under a structure of patriarchy. So, um, and this is you as women, and I really feel Goddess Bridget is going to be um, opening her space this evening, opening her energy up as, as I open my energy up for you to feel your fire, to feel your... Uh, you know out of the fire a new breed of woman is born so we're gonna that empty warehouse space that hasn't been in action we're opening this up so you can have access to more of who you are they also said the codes of life all who come into this space are to receive the codes of life that lie within no attachment just creation and I'm to hold the space of the cosmic womb to allow this to happen in this pulsing beating heart so the fire of my womb lifting the fire of those who come so um, I'm sure that's not just me doing that work there'll be a lot of women a lot of healers a lot of star seeds a lot of old souls however you want to you know put yourself in you are all of that um, to really allow this divine mother energy to be fully birthed into the world once more um, they showed me it's very it's been very hidden it's ha and it had to stay hidden um, because that those burnings and all of those terrible things and all the terrible things that have happened to women over the centuries will just you know the secrets of the divine mother and the truth of divine mother um, really needed to be held very safely um, but now she's like I'm on it I'm here I'm coming um, and we're all sort of anchoring that energy uh, within us okay so that's my little uh, upgrade over the last few months so um, if you 
were you know I'm here to work one-to-one -one with you if you wanted to feel that expansion uh, within yourself and really understand your own journey your soul journey and your journey to motherhood um, uh, there's another book coming out tomorrow, Wake Up Mother, which is a collaboration, which is again looking at this expansion, the expansion of the Divine Mother, and it's more than a book, it's going to be a movement uh, where women, whether you are with, uh, you know, a, a, a mum or not a mum, it's the mother energy that, that is really being asked to be expanded through this book and through this movement. Um, and my course that I created with the amazing Alison Shalhoub, uh, opening the gateway to conception which is look where we went on a road trip to Stonehenge and Avebury and Glastonbury and brought back those rituals and that ancient knowledge from those um, very important fertility honoring the Divine Mother space okay so that's uh, that's that's a little bit about me before we start and about the work and about what's going on in the world and we are going to settle in now for a lovely message from Goddess Bridget. And within her words, you're just going to feel the transmission of her words. Um, I will put it into the file section as well, so you can read it through again if you wish to. Uh, because sometimes these messages take a, a while to, you know, be understood consciously. Um, <clears throat> and actually it was a message that came through because I channel a monthly message as part of my Divine Mother Wisdom membership group and I shared it with a friend who was doing a retreat and honouring Goddess Bridget and she shared it and, and all the women wanted to share it and then someone else has wanted to share it so there's something else I'm doing with this message so Goddess Bridget wants to be heard, she wants to be felt, she wants to be seen and today, of course, the 1st of February is in the Celtic calendar is the, uh, the turning of the wheel. Um, Goddess Bridget very much represents fertility and rebirth. She's very associated with midwives and birthing um, because it's all about spring and nature and how we can start to see those seeds now rising. So the snowdrops and all the, you know, the, the earth coming to life in the next cycle that it will be in and I feel like we're in a very apart from the earth cycle uh, the obvious one where we can see with nature there's a new cycle energetically there's a new cycle um, that's coming for the whole world as well and I feel like it's related to out of the fires a new breed of women will be born and they're not they're not attached they're not hooked into or affected by the old patriarchal systems so we're heading into a new age and you are all very much um, playing a role in that and here because of that here in this lifetime because of that okay so uh, yes spring rebirth poetry she's the fire she's the water she's the triple goddess uh, just this incredible incredible beautiful energy and she's always been my guide ever since I've started doing this work and I'm really honoured that she is ah, wanting to be with us all this evening. Okay, so just taking a beautiful deep breath in and allowing yourself to land in the space and being open do whatever you need, you are so, so held. And I've opened up the space, we're in a beautiful divine pyramid of light. And I'm going to open up my heart field now to you all. And beginning to feel that energy of divine mother. <sighs> Opening, surrounding you, holding you. And there's an energy of joy, joy that you're here, joy that you're listening, joy that you are you, the joy of simply being you. Divine Mother is in joy of you, she birthed you, you came from Divine Mother. And she's just giving a moment to enjoy her creations, which is you. 
feeling the energy of the mother all around you. And you're falling into a soft space. You can be the baby, you can be the child that can be held and loved for no other reason that you are just you, perfectly, beautifully, imperfectly you. Okay, so I'm going to read the message and then we'll go into our meditation. Just sitting with that energy. And I just want to show you this image of Bridget because this is the image that sort of sparked the message and just taking the note of her fire here. Okay, so. The message from Goddess Bridget. <clears throat> can you see my flame? Can you see my fire? And yet can you also see my peace and my unconditional love oozing from my being? For I am often depicted with my fire and that this fire is somehow separate from me that I hold. It's like a gift that has been bestowed and which I then bestow upon others. But no, my darlings, no, this is the way of separation. This is the way of externalizing that which is within. For my fire is my fire, it is mine, and it is lit with a passion for grace and humility, love and honor, birth and rebirth. And that is my way. It is not a way I have, I have had bestowed on me, it is simply my way as an expression of who I am and how I come to be here over many lifetimes in many guises. And I am here with you now to stop this spreading of disinformation that is so current in your society, and I felt this humour, that there is nothing separate about it. The fire in my belly was not a gift I was given. It is not external to me. It is me. I am the fire, much as it is with you. Can you see the fire within me as you begin to see it within yourself? For all the gifts you carry are the gifts you carry. They are not bestowed on you like some prize for being a good girl. And if you do this, you get that. No, no, that is not the way it is. You were born with these gifts. You are the gift. Do you not see this yet? And so when you honor me or honor another, you are merely honoring the gift, the love and the wisdom that is you that is already you, and not a you that is yet to be bestowed, for you already are. And so, my dears, in this year ahead, I wish you to see all the images that you are shown where there is separation, very much like this image of me with my fire. I not only hold my fire in my hands, I hold it in my heart, in my loins and in my belly. I do not bestow the gift of fire upon you, I help you to recognize the fire within yourselves. So my dears, when there are portraits of me with my fire as separate from me, do not question, how do I receive it? Question, how do I light this fire within myself? There is nothing you need to do to receive, for it is already given. And this is another mode of interest we will also be discovering in this year ahead, that there is nothing to receive and nothing to give for it is already done. It is in the becoming of what you wish for in which the giving and receiving is done. Becoming the multimillionaire by being in the energy of this, becoming the business guru by being it, becoming the mother by being in the energy of it. For what you already know is, what you focus on you attract, and what you may not know is that attracting is already a done deal, as it has already been created. You are not separate from it. It just feels that way. If you are imagining it coming and not following through to that it is already here. And so my dears, much like my fire, it is not something I obtained or earned, learnt or achieved. It was something I became as I already was. And so it is the same for you. You are not separate from any of your creations or any part of who you are. You are not receiving the blessings or giving the blessing. You are the blessing, and therefore there is no giving or receiving. It is who you are. And so how do you become this? You become the blessing by feeling and knowing you are it. And when you are offering yourself or another a blessing, all you are doing is not bestowing, 
but offering the opportunity for yourself or another to know it within themselves. And this will become a nightly blessing or a daily blessing, as each and every day you recognise yourself to be the blessing, and therefore you are not giving anything away or waiting to receive it from outside of yourself. You are simply it. And so it is, my darlings, this love, this whole and unconditional love you are, is the becoming. And it is the becoming of a whole new era that awaits as we move beyond what one has and one hasn't, what one is or one isn't, and what one offers or does not offer. We are moving into the recognition that we are all, and all we are doing is simply activating the allness within all of humanity. And so it is. Okay, so just taking a breath and breathing in her message of becoming. And I remember when, um, you know, I was curious when I, I read this book where someone could go into someone's planning room and they could look at someone's soul energy and go in, you know, look at what their plans were for this lifetime. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. Uh, that sounds so fascinating. I'd love to do that. And then one day I did because it, well, there was no consequence to me if I did or didn't. It was just something that had sparked my uh, imagination. It sparked some fire within me. And being curious about that and not having any control over it or, or needing it to happen um, I became it and I was able to do that I unlocked that gift that was already there and the same with spirit baby mediumship I didn't even know it was a thing and it's you know it started it was just always there and it's allowing myself to open to that so that will be the same for you and all aspects of your life like becoming and it's not you know when there's it's it's more difficult when the the stakes are higher the consequences seem bigger but it is already there you are already it it is already created and you are becoming that you are becoming your creations uh you know you're becoming the mothers you already are you are becoming it in this physical reality if that's where you're at Okay, so any questions so far? Okay, gorgeous. Right, so let's go into, into this meditation. And as I said, I mostly channel the meditations in the moment, but I've had little glimpses of uh, what Goddess Bridget is uh, is wishing to share with us this evening uh, and it's very elemental it's very about uh, becoming the fire the water the wind the spirit becoming more of that we are all that we are from the stars we are from the earth we are all okay my darling so when you're ready taking a beautiful deep breath in and imagine you're breathing yourself back from across time and space, people and events. And if it helps, you can imagine focusing that breath right behind your eyes and then breathing out, breathing yourself into your body. And knowing we're in this beautiful pyramid of light, this filter, it's filtering anything from the day, anything from the night, anything that's not yours, anything you don't need to hold on to. So breathing yourself back from wherever you've been, wherever your thoughts are. And giving yourself permission to be here in this time and space. And this present moment, it isn't just this present moment, it's the all-encompassing. When you are in the present moment, you are in the all. You're in the past, the future, the all, all at the same time. And one more deep breath in, and when you breathe out this time, letting out a really beautiful big sigh. just imagine like a little trap door in your mind and all those thoughts falling down through that trap door all the way down through your body and into the earth 
any you need will be held in your heart with truth or in your sacral chakra for action but the rest can just fall away just feeling your mind empty and bringing your awareness to your feet and imagining you're standing on that green green grass standing on the earth barefoot and beginning to feel the tickle of the grass beneath your feet and then beginning to feel the rumble of the earth beneath your feet and as you feel this powerful rumbling energy of, of mother earth oh, and I'm just seeing rainbow colors so the divine mother coming in from and up through the earth in her rainbow colors feeling all the colors of the rainbow opening up the soles of your feet relaxing your feet relaxing your ankles your calves your shins your knees filling yourself with the mother divine mother being held your thighs your hips rainbow colors moving into your yoni into your womb into your tummy into your ribs your heart your chest and these rainbow colors filling your upper chest into your shoulders feeling your shoulders relax as you relax into the rainbow color of mother earth and divine mother down your arms hands and fingers feeling your hands relaxing this energy moving up into your throat relaxing your jaw now relaxing your mouth your cheekbones relaxing sides of your head relaxing front of your head the back of your head the crown of your head all relaxing and you feel as your body becomes softer in this energy that in this image of the green green grass you're on the hills of the earth that you just feel like lying back lying down on this meadow I can see mountains in the background this high vibration and they're showing me that this one mountain that you may notice is a portal so it's a portal for anyone who is in conception actually it's a portal of conception it's a portal of life I'm being told a portal of life so just taking a note just looking back at that mountain and noticing what that mountain looks like how it's making you feel safe and protected watching over you it may be well it may well be the mountain that you connected with on your arrival onto this planet your connection point so knowing that mountain is watching over you as you sink even deeper into this rainbow energy of divine mother and feeling yourself relaxing back onto this beautiful grassy hill and feeling the earth beneath you holding you feeling the grass along your back along your bottom along the backs of your legs and almost like the earth the grass is massaging you so if all those grass stems we're moving into the center of your spine and then out in and out opening your energy opening your spine opening your body and your energy field just enjoying this lovely massage from the earth from the mother And as you're lying out on this hillside, noticing the sun and the warmth of the sun, 
and you connect with the energy of the sun and feel that sun pouring down through the crown of your head, warming your body, warming your skin and your hair and feel the warmth of the sun in your womb, the sun loving you, beaming love to you, feeling your body warming and softening. And as you look a little to the left, this star, this Venus, the star of Venus is so bright it can be seen in the blue skies and just gaze at that star of Venus. Earth's twin sister and imagine you can feel that starlight energy just beaming towards you bringing in the star energy filling your body and your energy with star energy energy of Venus and imagine all the cells in your body their own little stars just twinkling and lighting up as it reconnects it feels very familiar this energy to you feeling all of your cells and all of your cells lighting up their own little stars, billions of little stars within your body. So with the earth massaging you, healing your spine and all that's held there, holding you as you feel your spine now emptying, you can hold a lot of ancestral wounding in our spines. Imagine this little tap the bottom of your spine, your tailbone, and that flowing out, anything that's ready to flow out, any ancestral wounds flowing out from your spine and into the earth, and the earth massaging your body so it can open and relax and just let go. Feel this energy draining out of your tailbone Honouring all your ancestors for all they've brought, but you don't need to hold on to their wounds. The earth is receiving them with love. The star energy lighting you up from the inside and the sun warming your body. And you might feel this little breeze around you now as air, the wind joins in this beautiful healing, reminding you that you are the wind, you are the air, you are the earth, you are the cosmos. Feeling this wind blowing over you now, blowing away any cobwebs, blowing away any dust blowing away anything that you don't need to be carrying or holding and just allowing that wind and as that wind is getting stronger and stronger I'm just feeling the Divine Mothers now stepping into this space to be with you so feeling the power of the rep those beings who represent Divine Mother stepping into the space. You are surrounded in a semicircle right now of Divine Mothers. You have Goddess Bridget at the crown of your head. Isis off to the side, just holding space. And this ring of goddesses circling and holding you in this space, in this high vibration energy. And as you do, the power of them brings the wind even more fiercely. 
feeling the wind against your skin, feeling your hair blowing. Don't be afraid of the wind, don't be afraid of the power of the wind, of the air. It's sweeping away, it's bringing change. Just as the Divine Mothers take another step closer to you, you can feel them stepping closer and closer to you and the wind whipping up, joining them in their power. This is the power of them, the power of you. The wind whipping up and a tornado type energy forming and that tornado energy starting at your feet and just feeling this tornado spiraling up your whole body from your feet, feeling that energy of the wind, the tornado in your yoni is whipping up anything that is no longer needed, any old wounds, it's opening your yoni, it's opening your womb, allowing that spiral of wind, that tornado, spiraling, 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 you're in the eye of the storm and that's okay. Sweeping changes, sweeping away, feeling this tornado whipping all around you. You might even feel quite spinny. That's all okay. Staying with it. Receiving this energy of the wind, of the air that you are becoming it. And as you feel this tornado energy around you, feeling yourself merging with it, you may even feel yourself being drawn up to stand inside the center. And as you stand in the center, you realize that you can control it. It doesn't have, you're with it, you're becoming it. That means you can make it move, bringing that tornado into any areas of pain or hurt commanding, not demanding, you are commanding that energy of wind into any areas, just notice any areas of tension, of hurt, of emotional pain, physical pain, and allowing the wind to whip up that energy so it's no longer stuck. <coughs> And then with your hands, imagine you can hold that tornado energy between your hands and directing that tornado wind energy into your wombs. Maybe putting your hands over your wombs and feeling that tornado energy spiraling within your womb, clearing decades, centuries, <coughs> excuse me, of ancient <coughs> history obviously clearing <coughs> excuse me the throat as well and our yoni is so connected to our throat they even look the same our vocal cords look the same as our yonis so as we free our yoni as we whip up any energy from our cervix from previous partners from medical interventions uh, from life intruding, allowing the wind to clear your cervix, to lift it, to lift that energy up and whip it out and away, opening, opening you from the inside out. That huge, vast womb space I was shown that was empty, that's there, it's available to you. You are opening in, you're opening your womb. Oh, it's like opening your mind so you're using 50% of your mind, not 90, you're, you, you're going to be using so much more of your womb power and your womb energy from this healing is what I'm being told. Okay, so just feeling that wind, that energy lessening now and feeling yourself once again more expansive but allowing yourself to relax once again. And as you begin to relax, bringing yourself back down to lying on that grassy hill, and this time lying on your front, your womb connecting to the earth. Uh, 
and goddess Bridget I'm seeing her at the crown of your head and fire in her hands fire in her body she's become the fire she is the fire and those fiery hands now being placed onto the crown of your head and feeling the fire the energy of fire the element of fire moving into your mind and that fire energy opening and expanding your mind burning away any thoughts that are not yours any voices that are not yours any voices that told you who they thought you were who they needed or wanted you to be when really it was just all about them it's their voices it was their truth at the time not yours burning away burning away those thoughts the fire burning away opening your mind expanding your mind feeling your mind on fire your mind energy your mental energy coming alive now more and more alive not with old thoughts or looping thoughts or thoughts from other people it's coming alive so you can hear and know your own thoughts your own truths and that fire sweeping down your body now into your shoulders down your back and feel this fire flowing down your back down your spine Again, healing anything held in your spine. Down your bottom, down the backs of your legs. And just feeling your, your fire, feeling yourself become that fire. <clears throat> and as Goddess Bridges moves down towards the small of your back, the base of your spine, and feeling her hands now, on the base of your spine and feeling her fire moving into your womb and as you feel her fire noticing that spark within the spark of your fire within your womb And as her fire meets yours, <clears throat> your fire, you are it. With intention, choose to light your fire within. Choose to hold your fire, to own your fire, your passion, your desires, your energy, your life. And now, rather than feeling the fire of Bridget, you're feeling your own fire. You're holding your own space and imagining those flames burning away, rebirthing. It is like from the inside out, your phoenix self, all those old parts of you that you'd no longer need, but all those old and ancient parts of you you are becoming all the gifts that you are and hold already opening up opening up from within it's like all your DNA and all your cells are opening up feeling yourself as the fire become the fire and breathe And feeling this energy there, present. And bringing your awareness now to your womb resting on the earth, connecting with the earth. And feeling where your navel connects with the earth. And imagining that cord of energy and this cord is representing all the lifetimes you have been on earth, all the many, many times you have connected with the consciousness of the earth. 
and that cord moving down into the earth, feeling your reconnection with lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, reconnecting with yourself through this cord, down and down and down, just feeling this cord moving down through the layers, down and down and down. And all the earth opening up for you, she's opening herself to you, for you to see her, in order for you to see yourself more clearly. Down and down, through the fiery layer, down even deeper, and you find yourself in the waters of Divine Mother, the waters that hold all of your soul energy, all of your memories. And as you feel this connection with your ancient, ancient soul energy in the waters, feeling yourself falling down into the water to be back in the womb waters of the mother. And allowing yourself to rest and float and be and as the water swirls around you, moves and flows, the waves of the water washing over you again, cleansing, rebirthing, you are rebirthing. You are being in the womb once again, the womb of Divine Mother, holding you, loving you, cleansing you soothing you and within these waters there's one soul memory that may wish to be seen or felt so being open to a particular lifetime or a particular memory from this lifetime maybe your own time in the womb Just sitting in this energy and allowing whatever needs to bubble up to bubble up. You might see <clears throat> an earlier version of yourself. And allowing this version of yourself or this aspect of you. I'm feeling this is like a goddess aspect of you, but if you're seeing an old wound, that's okay too. So when you meet this part of you, this aspect of your soul, inviting in your goddess self as well, if she's not already there, and goddess Bridget walking beside her, as the teacher, as the one who holds space for all life to happen. She's not saying anything, she's just with you, holding the presence of your goddess aspect. And if there is any healing that's necessary from an old wound that may have revealed itself seeing your goddess self and you as you now moving towards that wounded aspect holding that aspect welcoming that aspect no longer hiding her or suppressing her see her hold her love her thank her for all she has been through and all she has been holding on to and letting her know it's time to let go now. She's safe, she's been seen. And you as the observer now of your goddess self and any wounded aspect of you, observing the vastness of you, this part of you that you may never have met before. 
reuniting with these aspects of you. And Goddess Bridget bringing in her fire, her water, her love. Just adding that extra boost of healing energy, holding space. for what needs to dissolve, to dissolve. And as that wound dissolves, meeting your goddess self now, your goddess self stepping forward eye to eye with you. This ancient self of yours that knows so much, connecting eye to eye Noticing what she looks like, what she's wearing, how she is in her being. And she's saying, I'm coming home to you. I'm coming home to you. You are ready to receive me now. and feeling this energy. If it feels right, just inviting. If it doesn't feel right, that's cool, don't do it. But you're inviting your goddess self, your aspect, your priestess self, this power self, ancient, divine, feminine self. And just feel that energy reuniting with you. The ancient meeting the new in order to create the new feeling the power of you this aspect of you filling your body filling you becoming you and allowing the waters to move and flow around you, allowing the waters to move and flow within your own waters, your soul energy flowing now within your waters of you now, of this body, opening yourself to the waters of creation, the waters and the memories and of your soul, reuniting with more of your soul energy. And with Bridget there with you, Bridget embracing you now, as you come back up through that those cords of life, coming back up, 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 all the way back up into the green fields, Goddess Bridget with her arms around you, embracing you, witnessing your rebirth, holding you as you rebirth. Back onto the hill, the green grass. Goddess Bridget stroking your forehead and as you feel her kiss your forehead, she is the blessing, blessing you as the blessing. And in return, you kissing the forehead of Goddess Bridget, feeling the equality, feeling the oneness, You are of her frequency, at her frequency. She is not separate from you. You are her. She is you. You are now merged into this frequency. And she is with you now. Forever, for as long as you wish. You are able to access her frequency. That is her gift 
She is the gift. As you are the gift of her, becoming all you are in this moment. And feeling your energy expand. How do you feel? How possible? How stronger do you feel that you can create your reality, create your dreams or birth your creations? And she's saying invite in, we're almost there, but she's saying invite in one of your creations or one of your babies. Or you know, just not just one of your babies, but whether it's your babies that you wish to be seeing or one of your creations that you wish to be seeing. Inviting in the energy, feeling the soul energy of what you are already connected to, what is already meant to be. And feeling these energies coming into the space. And as you are with this frequency, with this, with your babies, or with your book, or your business, or your relationship. Feeling how that feels, noticing the frequency of it and becoming that. And taking a beautiful deep breath in. You might feel lots of different energy flying around or moving around your body. So Goddess Brit is taking her bowl of water now and dipping her finger into that water and just placing it on your lips. And feeling that shivering all down your body. And she's saying, look down, look into your heart, look into your womb. See your fire, feel your fire, your truth, your life. You are this. Thanking Goddess Bridget, thanking all the Divine Mothers, thanking this space, thanking yourself. Feeling the energy of gratitude and healing. Noticing your feet and feeling that connection with the earth, with the waters of the earth. Saying ground is to bring yourself back into your body, just rubbing your thighs, rubbing your arms, coming back into your body. And breathe. Just sitting with all of that. That's opening your container to all you are. It's hard to get our heads around. I don't know if I can translate it. But be with the feeling. Our minds always want to know what's just happened, what's just happened, but feel. Just allow yourself to feel. Feel the fire within. Feel your waters running more smoothly and openly. Feel your goddess energy that you just merged with. And you can be and tune into, into you know, all of your creations, tune into the energy of your babies and feel merging with those, becoming 
the mum becoming whatever it is you are already. Oh, I think I've lost my words. <laughs> oh, lost what I'm saying now. It's all just feeling, just be in the feeling. <sighs> but that big womb space that it's not being used, that is now on board, is now open. Okay, so you have more access to more of you uh, that's held in that space. You've opened that space. Oh, all right, my darling. So let me know how you experience that. I'd love to know how you experience that. If you wish to, or just be in your own space, and you can message me afterwards or get in contact. And I'm just going to spray us with some lovely lavender. Spraying some lovely earth energy, feeling that lavender. Imagine you can smell lavender, just bring that lavender in and around your body. And just clearing, clearing the space, bringing you back into your body. Okay, beautiful. So I will let you go and be in your own space. And just it would be really gorgeous to let me know how you experience that. Or just go with it. <laughs> um, yeah, and drink lots of water. Just keep those waters flowing. Oh, I love it when songs come in, connecting me to my soul, innocence and clarity. Oh, just so beautiful. I love that song too. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, songs are such a way of us uh, being able to kind of interpret what's going on. It's just so gorgeous. Thank you for sharing. Oh, so. Um, I always find it difficult to say goodbye. <laughs> if this is on Zoom, we could all have a lovely chat, but it's also important for you to just be in your own space now and um, <sighs> feeling your heart womb connection and your energy flowing. And ask, ask, and you shall receive. We get in the way of that. But exactly what it is this becoming is having that knowing that that's happening oh, okay oh beautiful 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 I'm so glad you enjoyed that and I will put the message up from goddess Bridget in the files if I can figure that out and um I might just have this little poem. This is Bridget's Song by Caroline Mella. I am the dream of awakening. I am the returning of the light. I am the tough green shoot pushing up through the paved stones. I am the first kiss of sunlight on the unfurling petals of the snowdrop. I am the wind which whispers the gentle pull of home to the migratory bird. I am the drop of ice melting on the mountainside with its great dream of the ocean. I am the sap rising in the blossom tree just before it reveals its sticky buds to the sky. I am the righteous celebration humming away beneath the earth's mantle of frozen sleep. I am the rousing of the bee from its winter slumber and the soft pad of the wolf's paw on the snow as she prepares to birth her pups. I am hope, potential, rebirth and promise I am the kindling breath which transforms the flicker of inspiration in your creative core into a blazing torch. Give me the silent crescent moon rising over the sea and I will build you a bridge of silver light so you can walk across it. Give me the frost hardened wilderness and I will breathe radiant green life over it. Give me the healer, the writer, the craftsperson and the storyteller and I will replenish her essence 
and make her new again. I am the quickening. I am the serpent uncoiling. I am in bulk. Oh, I hadn't remembered that and it just came to me that that, that kind of reading that now is kind of that's the journey we've we've just been in I feel just so gorgeous and always remembering you know we feel like nothing's happening uh you know when we can't when it's not in our reality yet but just like the seeds in the earth they haven't just come from nowhere you know they've been emerging and expanding and growing where we can't see it until we can and that's the same for our babies there's a lot happening behind the scenes it's all happening okay our role is to birth allow this flow and birth uh, and there might be stuff in the way it doesn't always have to be in the way we can look at it you explore it this is your rising into you bring your fire in to the mix right my darlings I don't want to say goodbye, but I am, and that you all go, and thank you so, so much for being here, thank you for your sharing, thank you for your energy, thank you for you, precious, precious, powerful you, who is here to bring about change, to become, and to birth you more of you into this world, okay, Mwah. I love you, thank you so much, take care. Mwah. Bye.